hello everyone let's provide the complete solution to this x minus 2 to the power of 4 equals x to the power of 4 okay this is simple remember we are going to get all the solutions right so from here let's do this x minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 because if i'm to open this bracket i will multiply the powers so i'll get the four back and this is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 if i open the black and the bracket i will have the same thing back now coming back to the next step i'm going to move this to the left so we have from um, x minus 2 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2 equals 0 so that from here i can apply difference of two squares and i believe you know difference of two squares if you have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 this will be equal to a plus b into a minus b so this is what i'm going to apply our a now is x minus 2 to the power of 2 so i'm going to write um x minus 2 to the power of 2 plus b is x squared so i'll write x squared here this will be in the first brackets. Okay, let me turn this around. This is here. Then in the second bracket, we have a minus b. Now it becomes x minus 2 to the power of 2 minus b. And b is x squared. So we will close this bracket and equate this to 0. Now to continue... What do we do from here? We have x minus 2 to the power of 2. Remember that if you have a minus b to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, right? So to apply this, I'm going to pick this alone. To apply this, it means that x minus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to x squared minus 2 times a um a is going to be um x minus 2 to the power oh that's a mistake our a is going to be x so we square it to be x squared our b is um is um 2 so that means in place of a here i'm writing x and then in place of b, I'm writing 2. And then plus x, b squared becomes 2 squared. Okay, so this means I'm going to have um, x squared minus 4x. That is 2 times x times 2. That will be 4x. This negative is coming down. And then plus 4. So this means that in place of x minus 2 to the power of 2, I will be having um, x squared minus 4x plus 4. So whatever I have here, plus x squared, right? So I'll write um, plus x squared. This is what I have in the first bracket. And in the second, we'll have the same thing because we're having x minus 2 to the power of 2 as well. You can see it over there. So I'll write um, x squared minus 4x plus 4 close this and then plus okay it's negative because this is plus now the next one is negative this is minus minus x squared and then close this and equate to zero now what can i do we can simply open this bracket so we have from um, x squared minus 4x plus 4 
then plus x squared right then here we have um, x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus x squared equal to 0. Now x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared, right? So this means we're having 2x squared minus 4x and then plus 4. This is what we have in the first bracket. And in the second, we're having x squared minus x squared. That is gone. And then from here we'll have um, minus 4x plus 4. And this is equal to 0. So from here we can say we can apply 0 product rule. So it is either 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Or here we have minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. From here, I want to divide this by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide this by 2. So that 2 can go, and we have x squared. Minus 2 will go there, we have 2x. 2 will go there, we have 2. And this is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Or on this side, minus 4x is equal to minus 4. Okay, now let me deal with this down. We can divide this by minus 4, divide this by minus 4. This is going to go with this, and x is equal to minus 4 over 4, and that is giving us 1. So here we have 1. The first value of x, let's call this x1, and it's equal to 1. Now we want to get other values, right? To get other values of x, we will work with this um, quadratic equation. And according to this quadratic equation, let's use this formula. x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Now, our a is 1, b is minus 2, c is 2. So this means that x is equal to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared will become minus 2 squared then minus 4 times a times b m times c and our c is 2 so this is all over 2 times a and our a is 1 x is equal to negative negative we give positive we have 2 plus or minus we have Minus 2 squared will give 4. Minus 4 times 1 times 2 will give us 8. And this is over 2. Then we have x to be equal to 2 plus or minus. We have square root of negative 4. This is over 2. Now this means x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1 all over 2. Now x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then square root of negative 1 is imaginary. Now this is over 2 and then x from here will be equal to 2 can go there and it can go there. So we have 1 plus or minus we have i. So what are we saying? We are saying that x is equal to 1 plus i or 1 minus i and then let's bring the three solutions together our x1 is equal to 1 our x2 is equal to 1 plus i and our x3 is equal to 1 minus i so this is what we have as our solution thank you for watching